Well, hello YouTube. Welcome back. This is for W. Playing Slay the Spire. Where this Spire, Ascension 1, will be slain one day. I've done it before. And I guess technically I've done it like three times after that. If we considering Ascension mode basically stacked with itself. Let's take a look. That's a lot of HP, and I don't care about the money. There you go. Thanks, bud. Where are we at? Where are we at? Where are we at? Where are we at? Having that much max HP is a nice little, you know, a nice little benefit. Especially if we get relics that are like, you know, uh, like if your if your max or if your HP is below like half, you get benefits. But then, where are all the campfires? Oh goodness! Oh goodness gracious! Another one. We got one of those, like, it didn't really, like, come out of the burp, but, ooh, sure felt it. Alright, just, just pick a route. It's not that tricky. Tricky, tricky, tricky. To wreck a rhyme. To wreck a rhyme. There we go. So, I've been watching, uh, I mean, basically, like everyone else has, I've been watching some of the, can I kill you? Yes. You are dead. Lovely. Uh, I've been watching a lot of the Winter Olympics. Probably not as much as everyone else, considering there's people that, you know, have, like, family in the games, or other stuff like that. Uh, or, you know, maybe they just find it more interesting than I do. But, one of the things I was thinking about with it, it's basically, as far as, like, like there's a reason that, like, news stations and everything want those, like big TV corporations, because a lot of people are going to watch them. So, there's something to say about Reckless Charge. Just one extra little bit of gas. Let's do Pommel Strike. It's definitely going to be better. I don't even want to look at what you have. Let's skip that, man. Gee, thanks. <laughs> man. As quick as I was to get rid of my money, it was just like, hey, yeah, you could have spent this money on me. And then I'm like, well, that's not really how that works, but okay. Just gonna block up. Nice. Uh, and I was watching, or like, with these commercials, because I mean, it's almost as if like it was like Super Bowl type commercials. Which is, you know, kind of cool. Anytime a corporation wants to make a more interesting commercial, I'm all for it. Because, you know, I find them interesting. This is going to kill you. Lovely. Clash is basically a true win to be taken. I mean, we could fight the elite and then just be on this path and then fight another elite. Yeah, that's fine. This guy's not too bad, especially with the deck we got currently going. Just smack him, and I don't even care what my next card's gonna be. It's just, like, it could have been Clash, and I didn't want to use that. All well, the trouble with Clash is that we still can't play our defense. And crap, I didn't think this through. Yeah, sorry, Clash. And so I was thinking of it, like, you know what? Why don't they do, like, there's like different kinds of things they could do with these commercials than what they're doing. And I thought of the funniest well first I'm gonna pitch you some pitch you some uh, inventions here just in case this whole YouTube thing doesn't work out. Um I was thinking uh ooh, do I wanna do this? I do wanna do this because he's not really close to death anyway. Um uh, so uh, and this one's like this is one of those, like, as seen on TV, like, gag gift kind of things. You are dead, because this was a wonderful hand. Um, so, you guys know how, like, bottle openers, right? Bottle openers are always one thing for me, because, like, how do you operate this? Because I just haven't used them enough, because all the alcoholic drinks I care for do not come sealed in a package like that. I mean, they just basically take Clash, right? Or Bash, make Bash better. Clash, we know we're gonna want, we're gonna want to play. And I was like thinking about like what well, you could, could you do something to that to that to make it more of a like a you know make it a cool little gift. 
So imagine that it's when you like pop the or use the uh, the opener. It's like attached onto the wall, and you hit it like you open it, and the little and the little cap that comes off goes through a like a you know like a pachinko machine where the or like where the little like disc falls down a bunch of different places. I was thinking of it like that. Like, oh, wouldn't that be cool? I don't want to do Havoc, because if I exhaust Clash, then I'll be like, well, sorry, you still have junk in your hand. Of course, this other thing might be tricky, too. Juzu bracelet's amazing. Uh, I mean, this caused trouble for me last time. But I do have enough of this to shop, but I don't want to be hamstrung with that. I will upgrade. True grit. Did not get the curse. Good job. Ah! Uh, I can remove, transform, or upgrade. Let's just remove, like, a strike then? Yeah, that seems simple enough. Still don't think resting's necessary. Did I not upgrade Bash? Am I a silly man? Alright. Did I have do I have another Bash all of a sudden? Oh, I must have upgraded like True Grit instead or something. Alright, this could be tricky. Especially considering most of my strategies centered around <laughs> you know, using uh using Bash at the moment. But I think that would be cool. Like, just as, like, a little fun thing, you know? Uh, imagine it like this, you know? Like, old uh, gumball machines that... This is enough block to handle that. I'm okay with taking eight damage. This is more damage, and I don't have to worry about the... Oh, hilarious. Fine. Um... Like we, you, you pay for it, and the little gumball comes out. But instead of coming out, it just goes down this like big old windy slide, and then pops out at the bottom. And you're like, oh, that's cool. And basically, you're paying for the ah, that's no good. You're basically paying for the show instead of the flipping, you know, half of a cent uh, value of the gumball. Or like if you like those machines that you can like put money into, uh, just like donations. I guess we're exhausting the days then. Sure. <laughs> Lovely. Um, and sure, like you, you get to like watch the little uh, penny or quarter just slide, go around this big, uh, basically like a funnel or like going into like a whirlpool. Oh, hilarious! I mean, ten damage, you're dead. Cool. The potion could be useful here. I think the fight's gonna go on long enough to benefit from it. And I'm definitely gonna take enough damage to justify it. But I think that'd be cool. Just, I mean, it's not like it really serves any purpose, but what does any uh, any gift really do? <laughs> Give me... Yeah, that's fine. More block, sure. So I'm hoping to... You know, that's the thing. I had another... Was, oh, that's right. So, here's here's a good one, and you get and news corporations. If you're watching this, you can you can have this one for on the house. But you just gotta mention my name, like, hey, this BW, thanks for giving me this commercial idea. So, you, you've seen those commercials where uh, a company like books two commercial slots to make a longer commercial. What if they had a commercial? that was double booked, but by two different companies. So, it would... Oh, first I'm gonna close the door. <laughs> nice. So, for example, let's say that Arby's and... I don't know, who else would work with Arby's? Ar for some reason, Arby's just seems silly enough that it'll wanna do that. Uh, we'll say Arby's and Coke. Even though I think they might be a Pepsi products kind of place, but you know. Um, and so Arby's like sets this commercial up. 
Uh, uh, I'm the big, uh, guy that does all of the, I make, what, the, what do you, what do you call me? I'm the big announcer man, with my big voice like this. And I'm talking, I'm making a clever joke centered around how this sandwich is really good. And then I say, it's really good, I'm also Italian now. Um, ooh, play dots. I might just actually start doing this run and... Are you dead? You are dead, thank you. And, and then, I finish my joke and then say, But you know what the really good part about eating an Arby's burger is? And then, like, uh, and then either, like, they can end it and they can say, Drinking a nice cold Coca-Cola with it. Or then, like instead, they cut to the Pepsi commercial, and the Pepsi com Pepsi announcer guy is like, "The best thing that goes with it is to, uh, you know, drink a nice cold Coca-Cola." Did I say Pepsi guy? You know what I mean? Drink man. Drink man's like our drink would go really cool with an RV sandwich. I call it. Uh, I call it a uh, commercial collusion. I thought it sounded pretty good. I guess I can't really play both of these, but I at least get these stupid defense out of the deck. They ain't helping me at the moment. Or even better, like you know how a lot of commercials these days are like trying to like one up each other, and so they make jokes at the other one's behalf. So, like you could do it. You could like go on the opposite way. You could, for ex if you, for example, knew that Arby's was or Coca-Cola was making a commercial for this time slot. Pepsi, afterward, could be like, do I need to heal? Nah. I still got plenty. Ghostly Armor's really good, and basically I have to play it each time I play it, so the more value I get out of it, the better. Play it. Play it. Play it. Good. So, like, Coke's, or, like, Coke's running its commercial, and then Pepsi's like, Forget about what they just said. Uh, you should do, or like you should drink Pepsi. I thought, I thought those would be kind of neat. Clash this. Oh, lucky hit. All right. I guess it wasn't a lucky hit, but that would be an interesting card. Now you forget about the commercials. I'm gonna start talking card ideas. Uh, if there were like cards that, uh, I don't really want to get rid of a strike, but I'll do it. If there were cards that uh, like introduce like a critical hit system, like there's like a certain percentage chance of your thing dealing extra damage, that would be kind of cool. I said, let him, let him hit ya. Rude. All right, uh, that's a lot of damage. If I could acquiesce that you not hit me that hard. Oh, never mind. We cool. I'm only taking two damage off of it. Which I mean, they can do that with third man. Although it seems like the like, critical hit seems more of a... well, I guess any character could do it. Although it seems like this third man's gonna be more of like a spell caster. Uh, it was probably okay. That's what. That's the hope anyway. It would be really like stink if they had uh if they were planning this. If they were going to, I don't know if exhausting all these strikes is the right idea. What's the deck look like? Four strikes, or four defense, a strike, and some like value stuff. Okay. I like this, in theory. Or, you know, just some other things that are like, on this turn you do this, but on the next turn you do this. Just hit him. And if we can do 38 damage while he's vulnerable, we can, we can stop his next attack. We are not going to get there. I can at least do that. Uh, next time I can just absolutely murk him. Depending on how much block he puts up, that's fine. I just gotta deal 20 damage. Oh yeah, definitely, definitely stop this man's attack.
Yeah, you got him, you got him, you got him. But, oh, I, I can gain 13 block and take a bunch of damage. Or I could stop his attack and lose ghostly armor. That's annoying. One of the other patches I saw is that certain cards are now unlocked from the start instead of having to unlock them, which actually just doesn't affect me in the slightest. Yeah, yep, 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 yep. No, wait a minute, don't you draw. Oh, <laughs> what a misplay. I could've, I could've played, played Clash first, then played the other card. Can I just, like, off you right now? Is this a thing I can do? No, because I'm out of mana. Good one. I think I might have been able to do it. And now, probably not. Okay. And you're dead. Good fight. Good fight. We in this. Oh, feet. Oh, no. Don't you. Oh. Don't you come back no more, no more. But, oh, bludgeon is like so good. With stuff and feed is. Alright, here's the, here's the plan. We take feed. And then we take, I mean, I was already dissing gold before, and might as well keep at it. Let's just, let's just build the deck a little bit. I'll take that. I'll take that. I don't want those. That's the same one. Headbutt is nice to have a set of two of, and that's Immolate, so I basically got that card anyway. That wasn't bad. It was certainly, you know, you don't have to worry about, uh, you know, boss man, or you don't have to worry about elites. Where are we at? Where are we at? Where are we at? Equal. Still pretty equal. Okay, so as long as I can get either of these campfires, I'm fine. Wait, 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 wait. wait. One, two, three. Or, wait, yeah, or one, two, three. Okay, yeah. So, let's just. Fight some dudes. I'm okay with fight and taking on an elite. I guess I have to take an elite anyway. And we can, like, the more question marks we get to, the better our life is. Well, that's not a very fun turn. There's no, there's no wounds in the deck. We can get rid of Immolate. I don't know how I'm feeling about the deck. The deck doesn't really have anything really going for it. It's kind of just, just be good at your job of killing enemies. Oh, actually, that went well. Just hit him and hit him really hard. Yeah, that's that's the deck. Hit them really hard, but don't worry about you know sim like silly stuff like gaining strength to hit them even harder. Just be vol like if we get if we get uh. Heal hook, not heal hook. If we get uh, drop kick, then we're like in the clear. I guess we do get a little bit of strength. All right, <laughs> we just hit them. <laughs> or if we get a uh, paper frog, then we're flipping set. Uh. uh I don't know which one do I play? Do I play this? Uh, play that? Uh, no. I see it still be alive. What about 18? No, it doesn't work either. Guess I'm leaving him at 2 HP then. Was I, like, not doing my math right there? Oh, oh please. 15, that's 18. Sure. And I gain HP. Lovely. No, it's a little late for perspective strike. Pummel could be good. Ooh. 
It's not gonna do enough, so might as well attack and attack. Although apparently I've done some math wrong there, but that's probably okay. And we'll just let feed pass around one more time through the deck. Hey! Yeah. All right, over you. You're dead. I still have plenty of block. So let's just hit you. You're weak. Uh, I have no source of being able to block, so I'm just going to beat the snot out of you. I'm going to take 12 on the chin, and then hopefully feed will be ready in two turns. Good. I have two turns, exactly. Oh. Uh, I can probably catch him. Yeah, yeah, I like this. Yeah, it's fine. It's like, I don't know what the statistics are, but I can deal 15 damage on most of my turns. Alright, didn't get it, but I did kill him. Three damage for random enemy four times. I, I don't do a sword boomerang very often, mostly because I don't like random effects like that. I will buy two potions. Those are, you know, those are pretty cheap for the price, I think. We're going to fight this elite. Actually, we could go this way because there's more question marks. Remove a card or upgrade. Well, let's just remove. And that's exactly what we're going to remove. We're going to remove. Uh, defend. Ah, uh, defend. <sighs> Vampires. Yes, actually. Vampire sounds lovely. I'm basically at silent level right now. Which is <laughs> quite nice, if I may, if I say so myself. I guess I'm bu double buffing myself here. Dealing 11 damage to some poor sap. I wish I could exhaust itself, but uh, clearly that's not going to be a thing that happens. Smash! Eh. I would really appreciate it if you don't make him stronger. Uh, he's a minion, he doesn't count. Six damage. Uh, that's not good. No, oh, I mean, nine damage won't kill him. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, it's so awful. Get rid of Sword Boomerang for me. And then bring back Immolate. Because there might be a way for me to be able to exhaust it. Or not. So, this is going to be an interesting... Oh, yeah, because I could use uh, True Grit to get rid of it. Alright, these boys have got to go. And... You're dead. You're dead. But I haven't really done much to the boss, man. I've kind of just been dealing with the symptoms and not the disease itself. And the disease itself is actually just destroying me right now. <laughs> That's fine. He's fine. Leaving him alone. Uh, I mean, one weak and one vulnerable versus three vulnerable. And I'm like, this is just as fine a time as any to use that regen potion, I think. Although I guess there's going to be a, a place coming up to rest. But I mean, actually, I can calculate. I'm going to get 23 HP out of the rest site. Flex. Pommel would deal 16. That deals 10. I hate this. And that's it. Hooray. This is gonna hurt. Oh lord. Heal. Heal, please, heal. Oh, for the love of God, please. 
Ah, uh, hilarious. All right, you got me. Good one. <laughs> oh, actually, those guys are actually just deal too much damage. Uh, this is basically his strong attack. So I guess I'm dead. Yay! All right. <laughs> what? What went wrong? I didn't have. I was. I just did. This particular fight was wrong. I don't know. Either way, that's probably a good place to end it. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. If you like what's going on, want to see some more of it, you should send a like and subscribe. In that case, I will see you guys next time.